This is BBC Radio 4. Welcome to the new Elizabethans. Who are the people who have created the modern country in which we live in the course of the Queen's reign? To mark the Diamond Jubilee, Radio 4 has gone on a search for the 60 people, because it's a Diamond Jubilee, who've made the biggest difference over those six decades. To try to find the people you might call the new Elizabethans, uh, an echo of the original Elizabethan age, who've somehow left a stamp on our time that will stand the test of time. It won't surprise you to know that my head is already buzzing with names. Uh, we're deep in the search. Radio 4 listeners have been at it, uh, nominating, bombarding us in email and conversation as well as through the website with suggestions for those who they think are worthy of uh, this accolade, the people who've made the biggest difference. And it is a fairly weird and wonderful mix. Now, you would expect Margaret Thatcher to have been nominated, and she has, Paul McCartney, Alan Bennett, David Attenborough, National Treasures. I didn't expect, I have to say, Tim Smith of the Cardiacs, or Dan Bricklin. Did you know that he invented the spreadsheet? Well, he did. Uh, writing this kind of profile is something for which radio was made. It's a natural form for this kind of essay. And of course, it's wonderful that they will be published subsequently by Collins in the autumn. And I hope that that will give people a chance to reflect on whether this mirror that we're holding up to our country at the moment of the Diamond Jubilee gives us a clear picture of who we are, where we're going, what kind of lives we lead. If we manage that, we'll have succeeded, and I think we will.